Hello everybody, I am Brian Mullins the Fox and welcome to the first episode of Season 2 of the Brian Mullins the Fox Show. By the time this premieres, it'll be on November 4th, 2024, the day before the 2024 election, in which Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz will go up against Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. Whoever wins, we'll find out after this episode and after the election. Possibly the morning after. Who knows? It probably won't ever be anywhere near like 2020, where we had to find out a few days or so after the election to determine a winner. I don't have to tell you who I'm voting for because I have a past and track record of telling you exactly who and why. We're not going to go in that. What I'm going to be talking about when it comes to this election or the 2024 election is how I will react if either candidate on both sides of the aisle wins or loses. Let's start with my potential reaction if Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz somehow wins this election by any amount of electoral votes. It'll consist of three reactions. First, I would be somewhat celebratory. It would potentially be the first time in American history that a woman is elected president, but also the first woman of color to be elected president of the United States. Two, I would react and feel somewhat confident as to how things might go versus how things will actually go for the next four years when it comes to a multitude of things. Her going after price gouging, something to do with our country's infrastructure, something to do with our country's inflation problem, maybe? And also, just the last out of the few examples I have, her potentially being able to bring back jobs that would have otherwise gone to other countries. You know, the same promise Donald Trump made back in 2016 on his 2016 campaign trail, where also Michael Moore said something to the effect of Joe Blow, Billy Blow, Billy Bob Blow, all the blows will come and blow up the whole goddamn system because it's your right. And that the 2016 election was going to be the biggest fuck you ever recorded. And he talked about Trump's promises to bring back jobs to America from foreign countries like Mexico, Japan, etc. What if Kamala actually fulfills the promise, unlike Trump? That would be the biggest fuck you to the Republican Party, to all the Donald Trump supporters, to all the conservatives ever in history. And finally, number three, I would be a little worried about the implications of Kamala's potential presidency if and when she succeeds or fails at her main campaign promises and goals. I'm not entirely too confident, yet I'm not going to be an elitist asshole or an alarmist fucking grifter and say that she's going to doom the entire country to irreversible damnation when it comes to the markets, when it comes to our food supply, when it comes to supplies of everything else other than food. What if she's better than that? Given that Trump is certainly going to have to admit that if and when he loses, he's going to have to risk losing his base after this because he's not going to be able to run on the same fucking talking points like he did this year from what happened to him in 2020, four years prior. I'm not going to get my political advice from Tim Pool who's possibly been exposed for working with Russian operatives alongside with Roaming Millennial. To summarize quickly before I go to the other camp, I would be celebratory, a bit confident, yet not too confident, and also worried at the same time. Now let's get to my reactions. If and when for any stretch of the imagination, Trump wins another and his last four years as the president of the United States. God forbid. First, I would feel a little disconcerted given his past. It would be political turmoil, in my opinion. It would be just another four years of some empty promises, political divide, and Trump just really pissing people off at the worst and most inappropriate times, even if and when our country goes back into another recession, like in 2020, before the election of that year took place and Biden beat him. And not by a whisker, by the way. 
two, I would somehow be just a tiny bit optimistic that it probably won't be as bad as his first four years. But I'm not entirely too confident about that, because there would probably be a new wave of grifters like there were throughout 2017 to 2020 and beyond. I wish America can get its shit together and in a way to where we're not fucking eating each other's necks off. But I don't think Trump's gonna win. I have huge doubts as to his chances of winning. And if and when Kamala does win, so fucking what? I wouldn't care that much because hopefully if and when Kamala does win, I won't have to worry about dealing with another four years of Trump, the absolute fucking lunatic who's also a fraud and a convicted felon. If you don't like me calling Trump a convicted felon, then fuck you. If Trump loses, fuck you if you think the election's fraudulent and suck my fucking Corsac dick. And any actual minor case of voter fraud, I will call out. I just have a sneaking suspicion that any case of individual voter fraud would more than likely come from a Republican who also voted for Trump. I see how you people have been, you MAGA hat wearing idiots. You didn't give a shit about the whole Barry Morphew case, and yet you people supported a fucking sham audit run by the fucking so-called cyber ninjas in Maricopa County, Arizona, not only going against their main claims, but actually showing that more of these fraudulent votes actually went to Trump instead of Biden, and they were thrown out. And I was just fucking having this shit-eating grin on my face when I was looking all this shit up back in 2021. I made my video shitting on them for it. I made a video shitting on Mike Lindell and his sham symposium. And don't you ever fucking forget about that. If you do, I will make sure you remember. I will link you videos. I will show you. Until at the end of the day, you would either be denying reality and continuing on in your fucking deluded Trump land, or you would accept the reality that he lost in 2020 and could lose again in 2024, and you could just take it on the chin and actually move on and throw away that fucking piece of shit MAGA hat. You're not making America great again. You made no difference to having made America anything great. You made it somehow worse before Biden came along, Trump. And I'm not convinced that you would win or make any difference after that. So that's it. That's the entire first episode of season two of the Brian Mullins the Fox show. I have no other topics to talk about other than this. So when you go to the polls, whatever precinct you vote in, what state you live in, vote, 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 no matter who. If you don't vote, you're going to make the system fail you and fail me. And it's going to be a fucking pain in the ass if you don't vote. In my opinion, to end this episode, fuck Robert F. Kennedy Jr., fuck Chase Oliver, fuck Jill Stein, and most importantly, fuck Donald Trump. I'm Brian Mullins the Fox, signing out. See you in the next episode, a week or two after the election. Bye.